An increasing swarm of enemies are after your three lives. Your only hope lies in two ships. Concentrate on getting them into the best position and they'll take care of the ordnance. The following series of tutorials will guide you through the creation of this simple side-scrolling shooting game. A download link is in the description for the full and final result if you want to look at the code for yourself. Now before we get started, here's a quick list of things you'll need to follow this tutorial. Feel free to pause the video. Let's get started. Preparing your project. Start by opening the Rapid 2D editor, clicking the rocket, and in the drop down menu, start a new project and name it whatever you want. I'll call it Simple Shooter. For now, we can minimise this. Now go to your projects folder, which you can find in program files, rapid 2D, projects, and then open the project you just made, then data, then images. In here, we'll want to place all of the images we'll be using. In this case, we have one for the background, one for the enemy ships, and one for the player ships. Similarly, we'll be using two audio files. One for a background song, and one for a sound effect for the player bullets. The first thing we'll do in the editor is set up the collision groups. This will make life easier for us later if we decide to expand the original idea. We can come back to it if we want to change how our objects collide with each other. We have one group for the player objects, one group for the enemy objects, and another group for the player's bullets. For the moment, bullets collide with only enemies, enemies collide with only bullets, and players collide with nothing. Now, we'll only need one scene for this game, so we'll simply call it Main. The first layer in the main scene will be solely for the background image. We'll call this background object Background, and apply to it the background image by double clicking the texture in the Project Files box, and then again in the Object Images box. At the moment, it doesn't fill the screen. So select the object, hold down the control button and the left mouse button, and drag the mouse down. The next layer will be for the player's bullets, which we'll be adding to later. And the final layer will be for the player and enemy ships. Now we'll make the first player object. We'll simply call it player1, since we'll have two players. It is a physics body so it can collide should we later decide to make the players destructible. It is dynamic so we can move it, and we set it as a trigger so that it no longer collides physically. Add it to the player collision group we made earlier, select the player, and double click the player texture, and then again in the object images box. The player ship is a little too small, however we can change the scale of the object from within the editor. Three times the size is still a little too small. Five should be big enough for the user to easily drag them around. Now that we've created one of the players, we can simply duplicate it to make the second one. Select the player in the editor, hold the control button down and press D. Let's rename the second player to player two to help us differentiate between the two players. One final thing before we start the enemies, we want both player objects to have the tag player. Now let's get an enemy in the scene. As before, tick all three boxes, but this time the collision group is enemy, and of course the texture to apply to it is enemy.png. This time, a scale of three times the original size is what we'll want, to give a harder target for the user to hit. We'll just place it on the right hand side and give it a circle collider to give a closer approximation to its shape and size. Now 
The last thing we want to do in the editor is prepare three scripts for us to flesh out over the course of the series. We will need one for the player, one for the enemy, and one for the bullet objects. Apply the player scripts to both of the players by first selecting the object and then double clicking the player script. Do the same for enemy. Finally, save the project under whatever name you want, compile the project and close the editor. In preparation for the next video, open your project in Visual Studio. To do this, you will need to open the file exportedprojects.sln. You can find this in the Rapid 2D folder, in Projects, and finally, your Project folder. Double click this file, and you'll be welcomed by your project's Visual Studio solution. We'll be focusing on the XAML build of our game, so right click Windows 8 XAML and select Set as Startup Project. Now we're ready to get our gaming gear. See you next time when we focus on making the players move.